Hey everyone, happy Valentine's Day, or for those with breathing difficulties, happy Ventolin's Day, or for those like me who like a bargain, it's just another day or two to go until the shops are selling chocolate at a heavily reduced price. In Westminster though, it's been a bit of a St Valentine's Day massacre though, with Boris acting like Al Capone with a reshuffle. Actually, in that analogy, it's probably Dominic Cummings who's the mob boss, because for a Brexit-loving country that voted to get rid of unelected bureaucrats and busybodies, the government certainly seems to like him, to the extent that I wonder if John Lewis is handing them out to any cabinet minister that signs up for its store card. Talk about people putting things on a credit card though, Sajid Javid announced that he was quitting as Chancellor. This came as quite a shock to most people, probably including Sajid himself, who seems to have resigned before he was sacked for not surrounding himself with number 10 appointed advisers and doing what he was told. The SNP were also caught in the back foot as they made a slamming attack in the story, conveniently leaving out the part where they had lost one of their top finance people too, albeit in circumstances you normally more associate with the former Top of the Pops presenters. Sajido, he certainly didn't leave because he lost interest, because interest payments seem set to explode over the next decade as Boris prepares to spend money on infrastructures left, right and centre, many of which will presumably be named after him, you know, like the Boris bikes or that Boris bridge that still remains about as complete as Schubert's last symphony, or that time I thought about losing a bit of weight. Actually, right now I'm only about a stone and a half short of losing a stone. Not to worry though, because Boris has announced building a bridge between the UK and Northern Ireland, because, oh, actually no way, it's an actual literal bridge across the Irish Sea, that would be expensive I imagine, also HS2 and part Parliament's going to be spending six billion to fix itself up over the next decade, unless someone can convince Carol Smiley and Handy Andy to come out of retirement. Signing the checks for all this, well that'll be a man called Rishi Shunak, a former Goldman Sachs person turned MP turned Chancellor of the Exchequer, is now content to be doing the bidding of a different set of secretive overlords, and no, I hadn't heard of him either until today. Anyway, see you next week, if you like these, click subscribe.